Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be finding out what happens if Arthur has no money to give to Jack during the final mission of the game, and what happens to all the money that Arthur gives Jack, uh, and why doesn't John have any of it by the time we see him during the epilogue. So let's actually answer that question first, and then we will try our experiment with no money. So in case you guys are curious, during the final mission of the game, which is actually the last two missions, you have to do the last two missions back to back, Our Best Selves and Red Dead Redemption. So in the mission Our Best Selves, basically what happens is the entire gang robs an army payroll train. And uh, they absolutely get a ton of money and they basically just throw as many bags over the train uh, before it ultimately falls off of the cliff. Now, after this, uh, Arthur receives news from Micah, Dutch, and others that John is apparently dead. And uh, he's obviously incredibly saddened by this. Now, if you played Red Dead Redemption, and obviously if you know the ending, you know that's not what happens. But Arthur had no prior knowledge. He thought John was legitimately dead. And then that leads to this encounter right here, where you start the mission Red Dead Redemption... And you can see that Tilly sort of shows up. She brings news that Abigail's been captured. And towards the end, Arthur gives Jack a lot. And towards the end, Arthur gives Jack and Tilly a lot of money. Take a listen to this encounter right here. They came and took Abigail. I saved Jack. We hid, but they took Abigail. Who did? Agent Milton and his men took it to Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, uh, Micah. It pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Well, I guess that's that then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly, here, take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. Just get out of here and go live your life. This is done. All right, Arthur. I'll, I'll miss... Nah, nah, don't start with all that. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Okay, so you saw that Arthur not only put an entire bag of that army payroll on the back of Tilly and Jack's horse, but he also like handed them a, a couple of bill stacks of money. Now, we don't know how much that ultimately is, but it did look like a lot, especially if those were big value bills. So the big question is, what happened to that money? Because it certainly doesn't seem as if John Marston has any of it by the time the epilogue rolls around. And in fact, in the very first mission of the epilogue, in the mission The Wheel, he kind of explains how they have nothing and how they're back on the run. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. 
So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. So let's talk about the couple of different theories that could have happened to that money. The first is that they just simply used it all. Now, we don't know how much money there was in there in that army payroll bag, how much eventually of it got to John. We don't know what happened along the way. But let's assume that they were able to get all of it. What happened to that? Well, remember, the epilogue takes place eight years later. So even if it was per se like $10,000, you know, if you divide that by eight, that's only a little over $1,000 per year to live on. Even back in 1899 to 1907, that would have been a little tough. Now, even if it is more money than that, it's likely that John Marston had to spend all of it in order to survive. As you guys heard there in the mission, The Wheel, it kind of sounds as if the Marston family was never able to settle down. They were always on the run. And because of that, they were likely using that money to survive. John could never sustain a job. It's likely Abigail could never sustain a job either. Now, one theory that I'm kind of throwing around is that maybe they were robbed. That's sort of something that Rockstar doesn't explain all that well. John Marson apparently, like, killed some guy in Roanoke Ridge. I don't know if that was a part of the robbery and they took his money or if that was something completely different. Again, the story between where we see John at the end of Chapter 6 and before the epilogue is certainly a bit confusing, that's for sure. But that's my first theory right there, is that John Marston simply had to use all of the money or it was taken from him in some way, shape, or form. Now, the next theory is that Tilly took almost all of it. Now, this would be kind of cruel, and it also doesn't match Tilly's personality. But I think the reason a lot of people believe this is because when you find Tilly in the epilogue uh, and after the game and during the credits, She's incredibly wealthy. So I think that a lot of people said, okay, Tilly just took all the money and now she's just a super rich girl living in San Denis. Now I think that some of that might be true. She might have taken some of the money to at least get herself out of the, the gang situation. But we know that Tilly married a lawyer. And if you know anything about being a lawyer, they typically make a good bit of money. It's obviously a hard profession and they're usually rewarded handsomely in a monetary way. So lawyers are pretty wealthy, and it seems as if that's where Tilly acquires a lot of her wealth. It could be sort of a balancing act there. She could have taken some of it from young Jack, or maybe Arthur gave some of that to Tilly after all, and she shouldn't have felt bad about taking it. So just something interesting to think about right there. So those are my best two theories on what happened to the money. Uh, I'll let you guys decide in the comments down below on what you think happened as well. But another experiment I wanted to try is... What would happen if you went into that final mission of the game with no money? Because it certainly seems as if Arthur gave some of his own cash to Jack. Like, yes, he puts the bag on the back, but he just sort of pulls out these bills and gives it to Jack. What would happen if he had no money to give to him? So because I was in Chapter 6, there was actually no way for me to, like, donate to the gang. So it was actually kind of difficult to get rid of my money. What I had to do was go to the convenience store and try and like buy my way down to zero dollars. So it was kind of tricky because I had like a, a cent amount that would make things kind of tough. So I had to end up buying fruit and hats and outfits. It was really tricky, but eventually at the end of the day, I got myself down to uh, zero dollars and zero cents. So from there, I couldn't fast travel to Annisburg, get to the final mission. So I literally had to ride my horse all the way there and we ended up starting the final set of missions in the game with zero dollars and zero cents. As you guys can see there, we're starting it with absolutely no money. And throughout the entirety of that mission, we don't pick up any cash or any money either. So that means by the time we get to this cutscene right here, uh, we should have no money and we'll be unable to give it to Jack. So let's find out what happens if Arthur has no money but at the end of the game, still wants to give something to Jack. Well, I guess that's that then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. 
Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. And just get out of here and go live your life. This is done. All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Nah. Nah, don't start with all that. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Okay, so that's interesting. Apparently this is just an oversight from Rockstar or maybe something they didn't even think about because Arthur still pulls out like the same amount of money. Now what's interesting is if you hit down on the D-pad so you can see Arthur's cash, he somehow has $275. Did he like take that from the bag himself? That's the only thing I can think of. How did I just randomly get $275 in my inventory? Again, seems a little bit random, but... I don't know. I personally am going to say it's just an oversight from Rockstar and that they weren't really thinking about the character having absolutely no money by the end of the game. But like we talked about earlier, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think happened to the money. Let me know how you think Arthur gets the money if he doesn't have any to hand to Jack at the end of the game and more in the comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.